Hello friends! If you have a computer with Windows, you should definitely watch this video. You will learn about the current balance of power among the versions of Windows and see experiments of the newest version of Windows 10 2004. Personally, I was surprised by its test. This update changed everything. What exactly has changed? How much faster is Windows? What is the most productive Windows now? There is an answer. Let's get to know it. And before that, spend only 5 seconds to go down and click on the subscribe button. On our channel there are useful videos about Windows and more. You won't regret it. And don't forget about the bell, so you don't miss anything. Microsoft remains a monopoly in the operating system market. But it continues to struggle for profit and is working on its Windows 10 product. There have been many promises regarding the 2004 update. It is now included by default in the home and professional versions of Windows 10. But we are wondering, really has something changed, accelerated or optimized in the new version? Is it worth using it or it is better to choose Windows 10 Enterprise LTC, which we defined as the fastest and most productive? We even have a large experimental video with several tests in four popular operating systems and LTC showed itself better than others. How the 7th and 8th coped? Watch this video if you haven't seen it yet. If you have seen it, then this release will be a logical continuation. Let's run the same tests on the same machine right after a fresh install of Windows 10 2004 and the August updates. Believe me, it will be interesting. Our test bench is this laptop with an HDD disk. In the comments many people ask to repeat this test on a good powerful computer with SSD disk. But guys, this can be done and there will be fast results on all systems. But we will not see such a striking difference. Fast hardware will quickly cope with tasks. I will also say right away, I think that there is no point to testing specifically in games. So we also won't see the difference between different windows on the same computer. Moreover, in one game you will not play twice the same way. There will be different drawing and different load. And with the help of graphics processor and memory tests we can draw conclusions about the performance in games. At the end of this video we will definitely draw conclusions. Now let's start the tests. The first test is turning on windows. Here we will determine which windows will boot faster. The same programs and drivers are installed, updates have been installed, we do several launches of each system and count to determine the fastest start. Some versions have fast startup. This is practically hibernation. How is it? We will see now. Let's start the countdown from the appearance of the manufacturer's logo and finish as soon as the browser starts. This will mean that the system is ready for work. Windows 10 2004 on this machine showed the fastest turn on result 30 seconds. The desktop naturally appeared earlier. For comparison, earlier Windows 10 Home on this laptop turned on in 46 seconds. This is a quick start. The 8s on the same machine generally turned on in 22 seconds. If instead of the usually shutdown we hold the shutdown key for a few seconds, we make an emergency shutdown. After it, loading will take much longer. 2004 booted in 65 seconds. The LTC version showed a similar result for 62 seconds. So, Windows 10 2004 starts up much faster. If you also have an SSD drive, the inclusion will be a canon. The second test is the state of memory and processes in the task manager immediately after switching on. We launched the task manager immediately after turning it on and waited until the system entered a stable operating state. This will be seen by how much the processor and disk are involved. The internet was turned off. As a result, 2004 launched 127 processes Earlier home started 140 processes, now there are fewer, and for comparison LTC started 122 processes. These are pretty close values. What about RAM? 2004 took almost 2 GB out of 8, 
Previously there were almost the same numbers, even a little less, but in L2C less memory was required. The third test is the launch of the GIMP, a free alternative to Photoshop. It takes a long time to start, loading many different small files with libraries and fonts into the RAM. This is how we evaluate how memory is used, which is very important in games. Let's make several launches. By the way, the first launch of the program is indicative. The subsequent ones already use the cache and occur several times faster. The best result of running GIMP in Windows 10 2004 is 21 seconds. The previous version of the home loaded in 31 seconds. LTC 29 seconds. Only 7 is faster. But if we compare the result among the Windows 10, then in the new version progress is the best work with memory. But what about processor performance? The first test is the processor benchmark. The SignBench 20 will help in this. It loads the processor with calculations and gives points for performance. 2004 scored a maximum of 466 points. Previously Home received 461 points and Windows 10 LTC 465. And here the result of SignBatch 15. We see a breakthrough in improving the performance of the Home 10. The difference is less than 1%, but if you want more it is already necessary to change the hardware, and this is a very positive trend. The fifth test is another benchmark, an old 3D Mark 06. The graphics and processor test results are identical. You can pause and see the difference, but LTC has the best scores here. Six performance test. Let's convert a video file from one format to another and compare the time spent on the task. We will convert the same file in the same program with the same settings. You can now see the result and the time spent converting on different systems. Previously Windows 10 Home seriously lost to other versions of Windows in this test. And here absolutely the same results. And this test pushed me to a conclusion. The new Windows 10 2004 is optimized as an enterprise version, as fast as LTC, and at the same time is not cut down. But let's postpone the conclusions a little more. We have a seventh test, by the way, very interesting. Which system takes up less space on the C drive? Let's measure the size of the Windows folder after removing from it what can be deleted temporary files for updating. I couldn't believe my eyes. The new Windows 10 takes 13 GB. This is the absolute minimum. Previously it took at least 18. LTC for comparison takes up almost 17 GB. So this is a wonderful achievement. Finally Microsoft has cleaned up the old and unnecessary files. We did some experiments. And what about the new 2004 version. It is really faster and more efficient. Compared to the previous versions, Home or Pro, Windows got a good update. Now the computer will turn on faster, run programs faster, and indeed the difference should be felt. If you do not notice it, you may need to not just update, but reinstall Windows from scratch. Version 2004 will be installed. How to do it? Our video guide. If now we talk about which windows to choose, Windows 10 Home 2004 or Enterprise LTC, now the difference between them is minimal. And I see no reason to switch from one to the other. Consider this in the future. And feel free to install the new version from Microsoft site. It is fast. And before that, support this video with comments and likes. YouTube will notice that and show it to other viewers. Thank you for watching the PC No Problems channel. See you on there.